Welcome to our exploration of fate versus free will in the Trojan War. We'll unravel how choices and destiny intertwine in this epic Greek tale, shaping characters and events alike. As we delve into this timeless narrative, we'll see how the actions of gods and mortals alike set the stage for one of history's most renowned conflicts. The Trojan War unfolds as a cosmic chess match, where mortals and gods move across the board in a complex interplay of choice and destiny. Moira, the concept of fate, weaves an intricate tapestry that even the gods cannot fully control. Yet within this framework, characters like Paris, Helen, and Achilles exercise their free will, making pivotal decisions that alter the course of events. This delicate balance between predetermined destiny and individual agency forms the core of Greek mythology's approach to human existence. As we examine the origins of this legendary conflict, we'll see how a single decision can spark a war that would shake the foundations of the ancient world. The seeds of the Trojan War were sown at a divine wedding where discord took root in the form of Eris's golden apple. This seemingly innocuous object marked for the fairest ignited a fierce contest among the goddesses Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite. Zeus, wary of the conflict, appointed Paris, Prince of Troy, as judge. Paris's fateful choice to award the apple to Aphrodite, swayed by the promise of Helen's love, exemplified the human tendency towards hubris excessive pride that often leads to downfall. This decision set in motion a chain of events that would culminate in the legendary Trojan War. The repercussions of Paris's judgment would soon be felt far beyond the realm of the gods, as his actions led him to the shores of Sparta and a fateful encounter with Helen. Paris's journey to Sparta, a direct consequence of his divine judgment, ignited a passion that would consume nations. His encounter with Helen, wife of King Menelaus, sparked an affair that defied social norms and threatened long-standing political alliances. Helen's decision to leave with Paris was not merely a romantic whim, it was influenced by divine intervention, personal desire, and perhaps a longing for escape from her predetermined role. This act of defiance transformed a private indiscretion into a political crisis of epic proportions. Sparta's outrage stemmed from both personal betrayal and the loss of a valuable asset, demanding a response that would preserve their honor and power on the world stage. As the flames of war began to flicker, the stage was set for the emergence of legendary heroes, none more renowned than Achilles. Achilles, the greatest warrior of his age, embodied the clash between fate and free will that defined the Trojan War. Born to the mortal Peleus and the sea nymph Thetis, Achilles' destiny was prophesied from birth. He would achieve unparalleled glory in battle, but at the cost of an early death. Thetis, desperate to protect her son, took extraordinary measures, dipping him in the river Styx to render him invulnerable and later disguising him as a girl to avoid his participation in the war. Despite these attempts to circumvent fate, Achilles ultimately faced a pivotal choice between eternal fame and a safe return home. His decision to embrace his heroic fate, despite his mother's efforts, set him on a path that would define the course of the war. Achilles' choice would have far-reaching consequences as his presence and absence on the battlefield would shape the tide of the conflict. The rage of Achilles, sparked by a personal slight, reshaped the destiny of the Trojan War. When Agamemnon, leader of the Greek forces, seized Briseis, Achilles' prized captive, the hero's wrath erupted with devastating consequences. His withdrawal from battle crippled the Greek forces, seemingly altering the course of fate. Yet this emotional decision aligned perfectly with Achilles' prophesied destiny illustrating the intricate dance between free will and predetermined outcomes in Greek mythology. His absence from the battlefield, born of pride and a sense of violated honor, became the catalyst for both his fated glory and ultimate tragedy. As Achilles' decision reverberated through the Greek camp, it became clear that prophecies and fate played a crucial role in shaping the narrative of the war. The inescapable nature of prophecies in the Trojan War added layers of complexity to the unfolding drama. Like Achilles' fated glory and early death, these divine predictions shaped the narrative despite characters' efforts to defy them. 
Paris's judgment of the goddesses, intended to avoid conflict, ironically set the wheels of war in motion. This pattern of attempted evasion leading to fulfillment exemplifies the intricate interplay between fate and free will in Greek mythology. Characters found themselves caught in a web of destiny, their choices often inadvertently bringing about the very outcomes they sought to avoid. Among these destined heroes, Hector of Troy stood as a paragon of duty and sacrifice, his choices embodying the eternal struggle between personal desire and civic responsibility. Hector's dilemma epitomizes the Greek hero's struggle between personal desires and duty to the state. Torn between protecting his family and defending Troy, Hector embodies the tension between individual choice and predetermined destiny. Despite knowing the likely outcome, he makes the fateful decision to confront Achilles outside the walls of Troy. This act of courage, seemingly an expression of free will, paradoxically fulfills Troy's fated destruction. Hector's choice illustrates how even the noblest intentions can become instruments of destiny, adding depth to the epic's exploration of human agency in the face of cosmic design. As Troy's greatest defender fell, the city's fate hung in the balance, setting the stage for one final decisive stratagem that would seal its doom. The Trojan horse stands as a testament to the complex interplay of human ingenuity and divine will. This wooden behemoth, conceived by the cunning Odysseus, became the instrument of Troy's downfall. The Trojans' decision to bring the horse within their impenetrable walls, ignoring warnings like Laocoon's famous caution, I fear Greeks, even those bearing gifts, exemplifies how mortal choices often become the very means by which fate is fulfilled. This act of pride and curiosity sealed Troy's destruction, illustrating the irony of how free will can lead to predetermined outcomes in Greek mythology. With Troy's fall, the immediate conflict came to an end, but the aftermath of the war would continue to unfold in the epic journeys of surviving heroes. The aftermath of the Trojan War resonates powerfully in Odysseus's decade-long journey home. His odyssey embodies the ongoing dance between fate and choice that defined the conflict. Each trial, from the Cyclops to the Sirens, from Scylla and Charybdis to the temptations of Circe, tests Odysseus's resilience against seemingly insurmountable, divinely orchestrated challenges. These encounters, while appearing predestined, are shaped by Odysseus's wit, determination, and choices. His story exemplifies how personal decisions continue to intertwine with cosmic designs long after the fall of Troy, extending the war's impact far beyond the battlefield and into the realm of myth and legend. As we reflect on the Trojan War and its aftermath, we see how its themes continue to resonate through the ages, shaping our understanding of fate, free will, and human nature. The legacy of the Trojan War endures far beyond the shores of ancient Greece, its intricate dance of fate and free will continuing to shape literature, philosophy, and modern storytelling. From Sophocles' tragedies to Shakespeare's plays, from modern novels to blockbuster films, the themes explored in this epic narrative resonate across time and culture. Contemporary works like Game of Thrones echo the Trojan War's exploration of prophecy and choice, where characters grapple with foretold destinies and the weight of their decisions. This timeless appeal of the interplay between cosmic design and human agency demonstrates the enduring relevance of the Trojan War's central questions to our understanding of the human condition.